in your life, God is working for your good, but you don't know. I pray for someone here, may God never do it the way you want in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you, may God never do it the way you want in Jesus' name. Amen. May it be the way God wants. Amen. Sometimes what we are looking for is something that will kill us. But the Lord will say no. We cry and say, God, why? God, why you did not let me to die? That is some of our prayers. I want to ask a question here. You are a father, you have like 10 cars. And your son at the age of 8, wake up one morning and say, Dad, I want to have cow. Give me khaki, let me go and drive. Will you give your son that key? Mba no. Let me ask you, will you give your son that khaki? Mba. Why will you not give your son that khaki? I call it too small. Why? So you are a wicked father? Mba no. Are you a wicked father? Mba. But why would you give your son that khaki? It's too small at that moment. It's too small. And you have enough cars. That is why God sometimes maybe to answer our prayers. Most of our prayers is something that related to that car. I give us an example. But in the name of the Holy Child of God, Christ, Son of the Living God, God will never allow you to be put to shame. Amen. There are many things in your life you don't know how God and why God allow it. But let me tell you, all things are working together for your good. Yes, sir. If you believe that, shout a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open the Bible. Let's go to the book of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 1 to 4. Yes? A man named Lazarus, who lived in Bethany, was sick. Uh huh. Continue. And he was in the town of Bethany with his sisters. Yes? Mary and Martha. Okay. Mary was the one who poured the perfume on the Lord's feet. Yes. And they wiped them with his hair. Yes. yes. The sisters sent Jesus a message. The sisters of that put that's what sent Jesus a message, yes. Lord, your dear friend is sick. Lord, your friend is sick. When Jesus had it, when Jesus had that message, he sent the final result of this illness. Jesus said that this final result of this illness will not be death of Lazarus. Will not kill Lazarus. This has happened in order to bring glory to God. All these things happen because God wants to be glorified. And it will be the means by which the Son of Man and the Son of Man will be will glorified be. through this problem. Verse 38. Say, take away the stone. And Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha said, Martha said to Jesus, there will be a bad smell. There will be bad smell by now. He has been buried for four days now. This man has died for four days. No hope. No hope of taking, taking away the stone will not solve any matter. He, he has already declared, oh, let not try to open this door because nobody can stand it. Continue. Jesus said to her, Jesus said to Martha, didn't I tell you, did I not tell you that you will see the glory of God? That you will see the glory of God? If you believe, if you believe, it's okay. Did I not tell you? That you will see the glory of God in your situation at any time. Only one thing is you can believe. I want to preach a message that says there is still hope if you can still believe God. There is still hope if you can still believe God. There is no situation in the life of a man that is beyond God's power. I pray for someone here today that the power of God will encounter your troubles in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that the Lord will use you as a symbol to demonstrate His favor and His power. Amen. I pray that God will use you as a symbol to tell the people, to tell the world that He can bless. The Lord said to Martha, Did I not tell you that if you can believe God, situation. If you can believe God, even now in your situation, you will see the glory of God. Jesus said that someone under the sound of my voice here, yeah? if you can believe God, even now in your situation, you will see the glory of God. I believe God, I don't know about you. I say I believe God, I don't know about you. I believe God. I say I believe God, I don't know about you.
I believe God. The Bible began to tell us that Jesus, that Mary, the, the, the sister to Lazarus, was the one that poured the oil on Jesus' feet. You remember that oil, the woman poured on Jesus' feet, that Judas Iscariot was angry. And Judas Iscariot said, this oil is so expensive. This oil is very, very expensive. Why are you wasting the oil? That is to tell you the kind of wealth, the kind of assistance, the kind of help the, the family of Lazarus have rendered to Jesus' ministry on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. The next thing that they gave, 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 gave to the level that they become the friend of Jesus. That family become a friend to Jesus. A friend to Jesus' ministry. So when Lazarus was sick, Mary, 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 Jesus had come many times in their home, eat rice, eat pepper soup, drink, I mean, drink, enjoy themselves. They have, they have put Jesus like part of life or comfortable time. Maybe they may be the one paying the rent of Jesus' house. Maybe they bought Jesus' car in this, in this modern day. Maybe in one way or the other, they have become a source of help to Jesus' ministry. If you are that person and your brother now is sick, you will do what Mary did. Mary said, go and call Jesus. Tell him when you see Jesus that his, his friend, the last rose, is sick. But I don't know why Jesus, after hearing me, Jesus refused to go. Ah! To serve God is, is not easy. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody that is serving God, if God is not taken, you will sin against God. Because there are some things that will be happening in the life of the child of God. Some people will tag it in one way or the other. Some people will find one thing they will say so that to make sure that they say that that child of God don't know God. But I discover that people that know God, God normally uses them as, a, as, a, as, an, as, a, as an instrument. God uses them to, to do experiments. All the born again, people that have faith in God, they normally end up as an experiment in the hand of God. God uses them to demonstrate His power in one way or another. God can allow your business to remain like this for a purpose. God can allow you to have no shine for a purpose. God can allow all the things you lay hands upon not to prosper for a purpose. God can allow anything to happen in your life for a purpose. That is why I say that when God is leading a man, God knows the way. You don't know the way. God knows what he wants to achieve. I pray for you. May it never happen to you the way you want. Amen. May it be according to the way God wants in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me tell you, God can never come late. He can never. Jesus said, this situation cannot kill us. Us. Sometimes when we pray, look at my brother now. When you pray, and the Lord look at your prayer, the Lord said, this prayer can, this situation cannot kill you. What will God do? God will keep quiet. <laughs> Sometimes you say, oh God, my leg, my leg, my leg, in Jesus' name, my leg. God will look at it, and God discover you want to achieve something through that your leg. God will say, this situation will not be you. God will be quiet. Maybe your landlord will throw your property outside. Your landlord will throw your property outside. People around you will come and say, A lot of people will come and use you to do your day. People that call themselves a child of God, he cannot pay your rent. Look at the man that call himself a child of God. Come on rent, he cannot pay. Come on bill, he cannot pay. Come on PSTB, he cannot pay. Living never be, he cannot pay. Child of God, yeah, yeah, child of God. God will keep quiet. God will keep quiet. Because there is something God wants to achieve in that situation. There is something God wants to achieve in that problem. There is something God wants to achieve, but God will do something wonderful. That the whole people that walk that side of God, at the end they will say, Ah! I was there when this thing happened to this man of God. I was there the day the landlord threw his property outside. He is now a landlord. Ah! This God is faithful. That thing people said was what God was looking for. That thing people said. Is what God was looking for. And the next time when somebody is passing through to sorrow, he will remember the man, the way they told his mama outside, and God let her bless him. 
That man, another person in time of trouble can have faith in God because of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to tell you that God is aware what you are passing through. Yes. I want you to know that God understands your sorrow. Look at Lazarus die, and they told Jesus that Lazarus is dead. Jesus get quiet. One day pass, nothing happened. Two days pass, nothing happened. Three days pass, nothing happened. Four days pass, and on the fourth day, Jesus said, "Let us go and raise him back." And they said to Jesus, "It cannot happen again. By now, he will be smelling." But Jesus said, "If God have resurrected Lazarus." If Jesus had went to Lazarus, I mean house, if Jesus had gone there and prayed for Lazarus, that time, people will say it's ordinary malaria. Oh, no. A lot of people will say it's ordinary typhoid. A lot of people will say it's ordinary headache. And they say that Jesus had power. They say God will heal him. They say it's a child of God. That is why Jesus kept quiet. That is why Jesus kept silent. That is why Jesus refused to do anything. Until Lazarus died, the first of Lazarus was everywhere. Everyone, whether believers and not all believers, all of them agreed that Lazarus was there. And Jesus will be to go. Because if Jesus was that time, a lot of people will say that Lazarus just spent there. Some people will put it like that. The, the Lazarus just spent there. Even though he did not come here, we went up. A lot of people will say, don't know him. Someone that just spent. I was there when the born the last was there. And I was there when last was there. Come back to life. They said that Jesus raised him. Jesus kept quiet. They put the bush one. They put the prayer ceremony. Jesus kept quiet. The person of last was everywhere. To advertise the death of last was. Jesus kept quiet. On the day of Bethlehem, everybody attended the prayer ceremony of last was. Everybody was here to see the time they put us inside of it. Everybody was here to see the time they put us on. Jesus kept quiet. One day passed. Jesus kept quiet. People were coming to me to make them to the people to comfort them and to comfort them. I said, please take heart. It shall be well. Take heart. It shall be well. The news of death and burials of Lazarus was everywhere. Jesus kept quiet. One day passed, Jesus didn't do anything. Two days passed, Jesus didn't do anything. Three days passed, Jesus didn't do anything. Four days come, Jesus said, let me go and raise him. No wonder, even unbeliever cannot disagree with that miracle. Lift up your hands and pray for someone here. May God give you a miracle that even your enemy can never deny it. Amen. Amen. I say, may God give you a miracle. May God give you a testimony that even your enemies cannot deny it. Amen. Your enemy will say, even we, we are sure of this miracle. Jesus, help my head. Let me have a look at the You have been crying upon God. Crying and calling upon the name of the Lord. One day, two days, three days, four days, five days, ten days. God, get my head. Come on, God knows what he's doing. There is something God wants to achieve in your life. There is something God wants to achieve in that situation. You discover that people are running away from you. Come on, there is something God wants to do. God wants to do something. When God is interested in somebody, when God is interested in you, he will lead you to the journey that only you and him will walk it. When God is interested with a man, I discover that any time, any time God is interested with a man, when God is interested in you, God will bring you to a corner that only you and him will stay there. He will make people to stay away from you. He will drive more people away from you. People that want to stop the move, God will get them away. Sometimes you discover you are lonely, but you are not alone, you are with God. You are not alone, there is something God wants to achieve. I pray for you, your situation is not unto death. Your condition is not unto death. Amen. Today you are going death to here and there. It's not unto death. Amen. Today you marry no child. It's not unto death. Today you cannot pay your bills. It's not unto death. Today your business is not moving. It's not unto death. Amen. I am praying that the same power of resurrection that resurrected us from death. The same power will lift you high. Amen. The same power will lift your hands high. Amen. The same power will multiply your success. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is no competition in life. Sometimes when I look at my life, I understand that God is much interested in me. I understand there is a road God wants to take me along. 
I understand that this story God don't need any destruction. I understand that it's a time God will take men and women away. That is a time God will take men and women away. When God wants to teach you something about death in the kingdom, He takes men and women away. He takes people that should be taking you away. I understand that sometimes God will take people that are supposed to give you cover away. I understand that sometimes God will take people that can give you material things away in order to introduce himself to you because he wants to take you to a journey. In your life today, whatever area you are expecting God, may you see God. Amen. Somebody may you see God. Amen. I say you will see God. Amen. I say you will see God. Amen. He won't you. He won't. He won't. God cannot fail you. Say to yourself, God cannot fail me. God cannot fail me. I never see you, Lord. Disappointing me. Oh, I never see you, Lord. Disappointing me. Hallelujah. Your word is here. Your word is here. I never see the Lord. Disappointing me. Hallelujah. I never see the Lord.
a lot of people we are laughing. A group of people just laughing at me like this. I have seen many people walking me physically. I have seen a lot of things in the journey of life. I have seen a lot of things in the journey of ministry. Some people say, ah, God did not call him. He not they disturb himself. A lot of people say, ah, God did not call him. He don't mind him. A lot of people talk nonsense. The other one say, hey, yeah, 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 pastor. Woo, yeah, yeah, woo. I look at the person. Thank God that you go your mouth. You can say anything you say. And after doing that day, I saw her next day. I said, Madam, good morning. She was surprised because she did. Uh -uh. I have no problem with you. If you call me a good pastor, you did not put cover in my pocket. <laughs> if you bless me, do you help me? If you bless me now, what did I get? Nothing. <laughs> okay, when you bless me, my bill, have you have been paid? No. Uh, what are my children? Have uh, they still been paid? Nothing. Okay, when you mock me, what happened? Do you remember anything? Nothing. Oh, blessing me and mocking me doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it doesn't mean. There's some people who say, oh, Pastor, if you see what people said to me today, I said, What did they say to me? <laughs> what did they say? They said to me, they mock me. That is why you are crying. You, are, you agree what they say now. That is why you are crying. But if you did not agree what they say, you cannot cry. The Lord knows what He's doing. Oh, I said, God knows what He's doing in your life. Some people today, they come and counter challenges of life. They say, Oh, I remember Pastor Anthony. I know many people that have said this. I know many people that have said that in their life. The other day, a man of God was in trouble. Have no house, nowhere to lay his head, nowhere his head. I remember Pastor Anthony where he was in trouble, a condition like this. And he stood there in God. I remember the other one. He was canceling somebody. He said, I remember a man of God called Pastor Anthony where his children don't, cannot be able to go to school. Come on, all these things are for a purpose. Everything that is happening in your life is for a purpose. Everything that is happening in your life is for a purpose. I pray for you that the Lord will give you greater grace. Amen. God will disgrace your disgrace. Amen. God will shame your shame. Amen. God will give you a miracle that will close the enemy's mouth. Amen. Miracle that the enemy cannot deny. God will give you. I don't know somebody I'm talking to, but the greater grace is coming upon somebody today. Amen. I said greater grace is coming upon someone today. Amen. Jesus kept quiet. That is the area that many people fear God. They thought that God is not aware of what they are passing through. I remember the day the Lord appeared to me. Well, my, my trouble was all over me. Trouble was all over me. It is to a state that any time when I go to bed, I will be in my dream. Satan will appear to me and begin to mock me. Satan will begin to mock me. Say, look at you, you are preaching gospel. See your condition. Satan will mock me from my sleep till I wake up. Even in the dream, he was still mocking me. Physically, people will mock me. In my dream, Satan will come and mock me. I remember the day he appeared to me and said, Look at you. You are preaching gospel. See your condition. See your condition. Look at you. You say you are preaching Jesus. Woo! I woke up, it was in a dream. Even in a dream, Satan was walking me in a dream. Physically, people are walking me physically. But that condition has come for good. Amen. I want to pray for somebody here. Any area of Satan has mocked you. God will give you miracle greater than your mockery. Amen. God will give you miracle greater than your mockery. Amen. Amen. For whatever sorrow you experience in this life, I pray that favor greater than your sorrow come upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. God can never fail you. Rise up on your feet wherever you are. I want to speak to your destiny. I want to speak to your destiny. I said to Jesus, if he's preaching you will make someone poor, may I be poor forever. I said to Jesus, if preaching the word of God alone, without giving anybody, without giving anybody false prophecy, in order to get money, without giving anybody false prophecy or false vision, in order to get my needs, if he can make me to be poor, may I be the most poorest man on earth. If he can make me to be wretched, may I be the most wretched man on earth. And the Lord said no. God said, preaching my gospel, preaching my word is for the condition. Preaching my gospel, preaching my word is for the condition. It's for the soul.
situation to turn around is not for shame. Rise on your feet. I am speaking to your destiny right now. I am speaking to your finance right now. I am speaking to your life right now. Some of you here, you borrow debt. You borrow money, money, money. That even as you are running your business here, you are just serving a bank. But I pray for you. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Your supernatural will not remain like this. Amen. I speak to your destiny helpers. Anywhere your destiny helpers are, whether it is western and south, you don't need people that will mock you. You need people that will pity you. You don't need people that will reshare you. You need people that will say to you, how much do you want? You need somebody that will come and say, your business man, how much do you require? That is the somebody you need. I pray for you receive it. Amen. 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 If I be a man of God, I decree, before this year runs over, before the end of this year, God will catapult you to next year. Amen. Amen. What you did not achieve for 10 years, may you achieve in this remaining Amen. Amen. What you did not achieve for 50 months, I mean 50 years or 30 years, I decree these remaining months, the Lord shall commit them into your hands. 